Hey y'all, how y'all doing? Um, I know I promised y'all a vlog uh, every Wednesday, but uh, I just thought that'd be a bit too much. Um, plus I've been super busy. Um, as a lot of y'all know, uh, you know, my mom, uh, you know, she had to be hospitalized and had to have some surgeries and uh, all that came out fine. And we're, we're truly blessed for that. And uh, she's only got one more left to go. And uh, I can't thank y'all enough for all your prayers and all your well wishes. It means the world to me, guys. But uh, anyway, guys, like I said, I know I've, I've promised y'all uh, uh, some vlogs, some Wednesday vlogs uh, every Wednesday. But I, I'm, I got to thinking about that, guys, and I thought that was a bit much. Um, I know a bunch of y'all don't want to look at my ugly mug on here every Wednesday. So basically, I'm going to try to maybe put y'all up a vlog uh, once a month, um, if that's cool with y'all. And uh, basically, like I said, I, I may talk some stuff about, you know, uh, you know, being in the trade or, like I said, whatever whatever y'all want to talk about. But uh, anyway, guys, I'm in between calls right now. And I'm heading over to the parts house. Uh, I'm out of 22, and uh, we're going to go pick up some R410A and some R22. And I figured I'd take you along for the ride. But uh, all right, let's see here. Let's see if I can think of a story. Uh, all right, back in the day, I worked at... Uh, uh, a pretty large outfit. I was a journeyman there and uh, ran a little crew and uh, basically we were on a big installation and uh, you know a, a, a brand new uh, new home and uh, that's where we come in we cut every, cut all the holes in you know the whole nine yards and uh, hand everything off run our duct work run our piping you know but uh, this one just happened to be a crawling and uh, we hired in this nice fella he was from Cuba and God bless his heart, he didn't speak a word of English, but he was a really good man. And this man was a doctor in Cuba. All right, well, him and his wife fled there, and all they fled there with was the shirts on their backs, guys. And uh, I guess when you come to America from Cuba, uh, they don't recognize your medical degree. So what he was doing was he's actually, you know, going to school, you know, and working for us part time. And uh, basically, uh, he was one of my helpers. And uh, God bless his heart, man. Uh, you know, he got the dirty work. You know, he had to get underneath the crawl. He had to stretch the stretch the flex. Um, you know, yada yada yada. The dirty work. And uh, you know, once you once you got better, you got to you know do the other work, like in, installing the furnace, run the duct work, or, or whatnot. But uh, anyway, guys. Uh, well, I went up to uh, I forgot where I went. I think I went to uh, you know one of the supply houses. And we had a big shop, so we stocked flex, we stocked pipe, we stocked, you know, air conditioners and furnaces, the whole nine yards. We, we kept a big stock. But I was going out, I, I left them at the job, I told them what to do, and I went out and I purchased all the flex and all the boots and all that good stuff. Well, I get back and I pointed at, at, uh, at the feller, I'm not going to mention his name, and I pointed at the feller and I said, hey, look, man, you, you know, what you need to do is you need to take and, uh, you know, uh, put your boots you know, the way I do it is I actually uh, attach the flex to my boots, strap it, tape it, you know, do the whole nine yards. And that way, I don't have to do all that underneath the crawl space. So you just drag and, you know, put it up in there. But uh, anyway, man, and he's <laughs> he looked at me, man, and he goes, me no dirty, me no dirty. And I'm like, what do you mean? I said, you're going to get dirty. And uh, he said, me no dirty. And I was like, okay, okay, man, uh, all right, here you go. So what I did was I took a, a box of flex. And, uh, you know, I cut it down to where you could actually lay on it. You know what I'm saying? So I said, here, just take you a couple of these boxes of flex and, and cut these, cut, you know, cut them down like that. And you can make yourself like a tiny little floor and you can drag those with you as, as long as you go. Oh, okay, okay. And so he gets down there and, and next thing I know, guys, make a long story short, I come, uh, <laughs> I come out back, man. And like I said, I had got a bunch of stock flex and I come out back he had cut every daggone one of those boxes open. It looked like a daggone, it looked like a big accordion out there, if you get what I'm saying, man. And and I said, man, where, where are you at? You know, and I looked up underneath the cross face. Dude, he had done laid an immaculate floor underneath that whole thing, and he was me no dirty. <laughs> but anyway, you know who caught hell for that one. But uh, yeah, man, you should have seen us trying to, you know, we had to stuff it all in the back of the van, man. And uh, as soon as you'd open the van, it looked like a, like I said, like an accordion popping open. But uh, oh my God, I caught, I caught really a, a big one for that one. But uh, anyway, that's just one of them. I know it probably wasn't too funny, but not, it was funny at the time. 
Well, actually, it wasn't funny at the time, but, uh, you know, hindsight is funny. But, uh, anyway, too, the same outfit. Get this one, guys. Now, this one ain't funny at all. I'm doing a uh, uh, light commercial job here, and we got the, we got the, those JBL lifts and everything. And I get to the shop that morning, and there's this younger guy, must have been maybe about 18 or 19 years old. And, uh, you know, the boss said, hey, man, take him out with you today, and, uh, you know, let's let's get him some training, yada, yada, yada. So I said, okay, sure. So we get out there, and we're on the lift, and uh, I've got my drill up in the bucket, and uh, my brand new quarter cable that I was so proud of. And... Uh, Anyway, we were up there uh, hanging some uh, hanging some duck, and uh, next thing I know, man, this dude starts freaking talking to himself, and I'm like, oh, okay, this must be a joke. And uh, all right, so I look over at him and I say, hey, man, what's going on? Next thing I know, man, he kicks my damn he kicks my brand new Porter Cable drill clean off the off the lift, and I mean, he kicks it and it's gone and it shatters on the floor. Oh my God, I about lost it. But uh, next thing I know, I'm dropping the lift. He's still uh, hemming and hawing and all this stuff. Well, I, I said, you know, get your butt in the truck, man. And, uh, you know, I took him, I flew back to the shop. And I said, look here, man, this guy's acting all nuts. We're up on a lift. Hell, he could have got somebody killed. And, uh, you know, they were like, oh, Fritz, well, we forgot to tell you, uh, you know, the man's got schizophrenia. And I was like, what? You don't think that's important to tell me when I'm going up on a lift that some man has schizophrenia? Now, I tell you what, I feel sorry for those people that have that, but I don't want to be up on a damn lift with one. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, they replaced my drill and yada, yada, yada. But uh, <laughs> anyway, guys, I thought I'd share that little bit with you. Um, I hope that was sort of interesting. But uh, like I said, that's why I'm not probably going to do maybe one vlog, a, one vlog a month or something if y'all still want me to do it. But... Uh, Anyway, guys, it looks like we're pulling up to the parts house here. Going over here to United Refrigeration. Looks like it's a busy, busy day. All right, guys, I hope that was somewhat interesting. Alright guys, let me go get my parts and I'll get right back to you.